Hi, it's Carter Campbell, Amin Hosseini, and Chris Matthew, and we are going to explain to you the proof of Euler's formula using power series. To start off, Euler's formula is e to the ix equals cosine x plus i sine x, shown right there. Now, um, the Taylor series or polynomial approximation of Euler's formula without any imaginary numbers, shown here, um, resembles a combination of the polynomial approximations of cosine x and sine x shown right here respectively. Um, note that the denominators with the exclamation marks simply denote the factorial of the given number, meaning that the number is multiplied by every positive integer less than that number. Also note that the first term in each, in each polynomial approximation is raised to the zero power and therefore is equal to one. Now, there are, there are a few negatives in here that, um, that do not match up right here. You can see a few negatives that do not match up to all of the positives that are in here. But um, for the most part, the Taylor series of Euler's formula without the imaginary numbers right here um, is approximately equal to cosine x plus sine x. Now, Let's move this up a little bit. Okay. Now, if we do, if we take e to the i x, which is the start of Euler's formula, um, all we have to do is the Taylor series and substitute um, i x wherever we see x. So let's start that. There is the the Taylor series right here. So let's do equals um, one plus i x um, and it's one of course since it's raised to the the zero power and then here it's to the first power and so on so now plus and we can write it like this we're just going to go i x squared over two factorial now that um, i'm just going to start a new line down here equals one plus i x. Now we know that this we can change to write like this, i squared x squared over to factorial. And then I'm gonna move down to another line, i x equals one plus i x. And since i squared we know is equal to um, negative one, we can just write this like minus x squared over to factorial. And we're just gonna keep going with this. So now we have plus x cubed over three factorial. So plus i x cubed over three factorial, which we can write as i cubed x cubed over three factorial. And we know that i cubed is equal to negative i. So we can write this as minus i x cubed over three factorial, all right? And we're just gonna keep going with uh, here. So we have plus x to the fourth over four factorial. So plus i x to the fourth over four factorial. Obviously we do this i to the fourth, x to the fourth, over four factorial. And we know that i to the fourth is equal to one, so we simply write equals, or no, um, excuse me, plus x to the fourth over four factorial. And then uh, the fifth, we knew, oh, we know, goes back to, um, to the first thing. So it would end up being plus i x to the fifth over, five factorial and I'm not going to go through them all this just goes on forever and the more terms we have obviously the more accurate it becomes um, indicative of the power series so you should start to see a pattern here um, the original being here for e to the x uh, with all, all these pluses and minuses you're gonna start to see a pattern here of how uh, this is laid out so now why don't we um, we start to group based on uh, terms w with and without imaginary numbers. So e to the i x is equal to, let's group the real numbers first. So one minus x squared over two factorial plus x to the fourth over four factorial. Hoping that you can see this, let me slide up a little bit. 
Uh, and that's all we have right here. And that just goes on forever. And then plus, we're going to factor out an i from the imaginary term. So let's write i. And then since we factored it out, it'll be x minus, we factored out the i, so x to the third over 3 factorial. And factor out that i plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial, and so on and so forth. So you should start to see a, uh, a theme here. If we refer back to the, the polynomial approximations of cosine, and x, of cosine x and sine of x, we see that cosine of x is 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial, which we can see is the beginning of this, um, let me get it in frame, of this thing we have written right here. Uh, and also sine x, we have x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial, which you can see is the same thing as we ha have written here. So we can assume, based on the polynomial approximations of cosine x and sine x, that e to the i x is equal to, in fact, cosine x plus, and remember, do not forget that i that we factored out, plus i sine x. That's all, guys. Thank you very much. This has been Amin, Carter, and Chris teaching you the proof.